How's everybody doing today? And we're doing the Arizona Diamondbacks for this rebuild. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. If you are, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you were new and enjoyed the content. And again, in the comment section below, let me know some rebuild ideas or rebuild challenges you guys want me to do. Last video, we did the Dodgers. So if you missed it, it's up here in the corner so that you guys can see it. So um, as you guys know, all my social media links are down in the description below. And I am using the most recent OSFM roster. I think it's called the end of the season update. Um, so it's like the most recent one. It came out like the 25th of October. So it's pretty recent there. So let's just hop into this Diamondbacks one. I'm definitely feeling good about this. I already have some trades in mind. And I feel like we can definitely turn this Diamondbacks team around. From what I've kind of heard in real life, they're thinking about doing like an implosion almost clearing house maybe and then just kind of starting fresh um, I've heard Goldschmidt doesn't want to resign with the club and um, Patrick Corbin is probably not gonna be coming back so it looks in, it's looking like they're gonna be in a rebuild phase for a little bit but let's look at this team for right now you got Granky Corbin Robbie Ray Clay Buckholtz Taiwan Walker Matt Andres Zach Godley Shelby Miller John Duplantier so there's some decent pitching like Zach Granke as long as he performs well I'm cool keeping him around Corbin I would love to keep him around he he develops pretty well he's 28 he's he's at that point where he should pitch really well Robbie Ray he's hit or miss so if he does poorly I'm just gonna get rid of him Clay Buckholz is a player I'm looking to move Walker as long as he develops I'll keep him um, same with Shelby Miller and I really want to try to get Duplantier involved in this rebuild outside of that there's a couple other players but no one too outstanding. Archie Bradley is probably going to be our closer. He just does so well in a like sim style franchise. He's just really good to keep around. Chaffin, if he or Chaffin, Chaffin, however you want to say his name, if he sticks around, like if he does well, I'll keep him. If not, he's going to be traded. Jake Diekman will probably be be traded as well, just because um, he becomes a free agent. And I don't, I want to keep the lefty in the bullpen, but. If you know, I if I can trade them and get some someone decent, I'll probably do that as well. Randall Delgado usually does well, so I'll keep him around. Brad Ziegler, I'll probably trade him while he still has a little bit of value, but it's looking like the bullpen needs some help. Especially, you know, you, you can see there's not a lot of there's not a lot of like good players or B potential players there. Alex Avila, I'm cool with keeping him. You know, catchers are kind of hard to find in a franchise, so. You know, as long as he does well, I'm cool keeping him. First baseman, like I said, Goldschmidt probably won't sign in real life um, again with the club. So probably I'll trade him. He has a lot of value, and I definitely think we can get a really good player in return. Second baseman, um, Marte will probably have to upgrade him at some point. And then we got the two um, decent hitting third baseman, Eduardo Escobar and Jake Lamb. So whoever does better. It's probably going to be our starting third baseman. Nick Ahmed, who actually just won a gold glove in real life, probably going to be a player I'm looking to replace pretty soon. David Peralta in left field. Um, if he does well, I'll keep him around. Um, but if he doesn't do well, I'll probably have to move on from him. Um, AJ Pollock is a player who, he looks like he could be decent, but I may, I may trade him. I may trade him. I'm not too sure about that just yet. And then Steven Souza Jr., He's got some power on him, so we'll see if we keep him or not. So it's it's a team where I'm looking to I could possibly move any single player on this squad. I'm not really attached to anybody. So that's those are really my ideas for it. So um again, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think you would do differently with this team. But let's hop into these um these you know these these uh roster moves that I'm about to make. I'll show you guys as we do it. First trade we're making is Paul Goldschmidt. Like I said, I'm probably gonna move them and we're solidifying that center field spot as well as adding a bullpen arm in center field we're adding george springer and hector rondon is also joining us i think this is a good value for our trade we're you know we're we're still opening up some salary space and we're getting a center fielder who definitely can help us and we won't need to replace anytime soon since we just traded for springer we're kind of a need for a new center fielder or we really don't need aj pollock actually i should say um so we're getting rid of aj pollock and two of our lowest rated players in cribs and greer for our new first baseman josh bell the switch hitter i know i've traded for him before in the in previous rebuilds um but there really weren't too many other first basemen that i think have potential will develop and you know just will you know just 
will be players that we can afford and also just be players that I know will develop in the future. So this is this is probably one of the better trades we can make. So to strengthen up the bullpen a little bit more, we're going to the Indians. Cody Allen, the 29 year old in the final year of his contract, we're going to be um, trading Brad Ziegler and Clay Buckholtz, two aging pitchers for a pitcher who I definitely think should help us out in the bullpen just a little bit more. Um, so three trades down, I think I got one more in me to figure out what we can do with it. Already this probably going to be the last one. We're adding a very good prospect, the third baseman Miguel Andujar of the Yankees. He's 81 overall, B potential. And um, I know I said we have, you know, some really good third baseman, but what I'm thinking is we're going to move Escobar to second put Andujar at third and um, I think that'll kind of fill you know fill that third baseman and second base spots that I was kind of thinking we may oh especially that second base spot we definitely needed to figure out that second base spot and I think Escobar would be a good second baseman there um, we're trading Jared Dyson who's 33 and just really won't improve too much more um, Kettle Marte who was a player I was looking to move anyways and then also Pavin Smith so I think for a 23 year old who's 81 overall and should develop pretty nicely, this is a no brainer. I like this trade a lot. Alrighty, since we need a fifth starter, I was kind of looking in free agency and there's Kodai Sanga. I think he was um, put in for the, um, the update or this roster that we're using from the vault. So might as well sign him, see if he works out. There was also another player who I was looking at um, it wasn't a pitcher actually, it was a infielder and I don't remember who it was. I think it was Jeremiah Jackson. B potential, 61 overall at the eight, at 18 years old, I think is a definite pickup. Um, just for the farm system player, I think he's a good pickup for us. Um, and I think that was it. I think those are two decent little pickups for us. I'm going to make sure he wasn't put into the majors um, because he's definitely, definitely not ready for that. Maybe triple A. We'll put him in double A, let him develop a little bit. But I think now we should be good. Um, let's see if he goes up in rating if we move him up to the majors. He actually goes down. What about Shelby Miller? They stay the same. You know what? I'm going to let Sanga develop a season and I'll let Shelby Miller pitch this year so this is this is how we're gonna look for the season Granky Corbin Ray Walker Miller Hirano Boxberger Diekman Chaffin Rondon Allen and Bradley in the lineup you guys can see this I don't want Bell hitting first but this is this is what we're kind of looking like I think it's a decent looking squad we definitely could use another hitter um but we really don't have anybody that can Oh wait, Jake Lamb. What am I thinking? We could definitely use Jake Lamb in the majors as a bench bat. So there we go. We definitely, now we um, we have that bench bat. There we go. Um, so there we go. So this is this is the squad. It's definitely not the best one we've put together. Um, but the additions of Springer and Duhard definitely make it look a little bit better. Even Josh Bell. Um, and then the pitching I think is a little bit improved as well so let's hop into it I'll see you guys at draft day already draft day let's see how we do do we not oh we have a 26 pick all right let's do this we're gonna go Reggie McGregor here just got some decent fielding good contact good plate discipline um, decent looking third baseman we're gonna go John Bruno the closer we're gonna go Jesus Chassin here um, besides his control and I think it was his home runs per nine it's not too bad you know what we'll try Eddie here Earnhardt I mean, there were two players I wanted, and they were both drafted in the first round um, really early. Everybody else um, that I scouted looked really average, and I'm talking, I went deep into scouting, and it's just, no, nobody looked really good, so you know what? You know what, this time we'll take Bobby, or Bobby Boucher, um, Jacob Bouchard this time. We'll take Augustine Fernandez, why not? And then last pick, we'll probably just take the best possible player. 26 pick here we go Alec Dietz Let's see if one of these players looks kind of decent which they don't we'll take Alec Dietz all right let's go see how these play these picks went we actually did pretty decent this time Reggie McGregor 64 overall already 89 potential so possibly by season three 
he could be a, an influence in the team. Um, John Bruno, 61 overall, 87 potential, so that's good to see. 86 potential for Jesus Chassin, 65 overall. Um, so if he develops, he could possibly earn a spot. This is actually a good one right here. Eddie Earnhardt, 74 overall, um, 82 potential. So I definitely think he could help us out. Um, he can also play second and third. And um, Jacob Bouchard, 74 potential. He's 58 overall. Um, Augustine Fernandez, 73 potential. And then 74 potential for Alec Dietz. But um, this is a good one right here. Eddie Earnhardt, his hitting stats look pretty solid already. I definitely think he could definitely he could help us out season two or season three. So I'll see you guys at trade deadline day now. As you guys can see, we are 13 and a half games out in the West. Just we're two games under 500, which I mean is about what I'm expecting from us. We're I'm, like I said, we're not an amazing team, and I definitely think we're gonna hit we're gonna hit some bumps in the road. Zach Greinke is decreasing. Um, so even though he is pitching decently, 12 and seven, you know, wins and losses are gonna be tough to judge based on our um our record but a 264 era is really nice to see patrick corbin's going down as well um it's probably mostly because of team performance is going to have a big a big influence on this um robbie ray is actually going up even though his era is kind of high taiwan walker's up as well his era 3-5 actually is a pretty pretty decent ERA and then a five ERA for Shelby Miller. He is one in twelve on the air. Yikes! Randall Delgado. I brought him up and I brought. Uh, I sent down Hirano, but you can see Randall Delgado is pitching pretty solid. Boxberger, two two one four ERA is respectable. Jake Diekman is looking like a must sell. Chaffin, Chaffin, whatever his name is, looking like he needs to be sold as or sold traded as well. Rondon looks like he needs to be traded. Um, Cody Allen though, solid and Archie Bradley three, five ERA is a little bit high, but again, I mean, I'm being very, very tough on these pitchers based on our current record. I mean, like I expect better from Rondon. I expect better from him. Diekman was like mid seventies. He was, I think he was an 80 when we started. I expect a little bit better. Um, but Delgado's pitching pretty well. Boxberger's doing pretty well. Um, Allen's doing well and Bradley's doing well. And then the pitching, Shelby Miller was kind of a hit or miss. He is increasing, which is good to see. But I definitely think we may need to upgrade our pitching. Hitting wise, Springer's an 83. He's having a decent year, 266. Josh Bell's not hitting the ball too well. Anduhar, 274 is pretty solid to see. Peralta's 341. All right. I like to see that a lot. Escobar's hitting. 200 holy smokes we may need to find a new second basement um souza 224 avila's going down yikes jake lamb's going up and ahmed man we are in need of just we need some moves we definitely need some moves let's see what we can do already trade deadline day we're going to be getting a new catcher um like i said alex avila is going down in rating we're adding zach grinky as a big trade piece he is decreasing and I would rather get something for him now. It's looking like this season is kind of a bust anyways. So we might as well just kind of get players, try to get pieces that will help us rebuild in season two and season three. So Zach Granke, um, as well as two lower players, um, Crable and Walker for Alec Baum, or yeah, Baum, a potential 66 overall, and then Wilson Ramos. He's going to be our new catcher for the future. Um, he should do pretty well. So, I mean, for the future... For the foreseeable future, I should say. He is 30, so hopefully he doesn't decrease, especially with how much money we're going to be paying. But Alfaro, not Alfaro, um, Wilson Ramos is going to be joining us in Arizona. So let's see if we can make any more trades because it's looking like we, we definitely need them. We're going to bring in, bringing in Odor, another big contract, but he's 85 overall. He's having a decent year. Not amazing, but you know what? It's a solid second baseman who's locked up for the future um we're getting rid of our second baseman who i thought would do a little bit better but eduardo escobar is just not cutting it um we're getting rid of that catcher alex avila and then a starting pitcher in matt cock so three players who 
probably weren't going to help us out anyways going forwards. And we're getting a 24-year-old second baseman who's 85 overall and signed to a multi-year deal. So two deals that I think are definitely going to help us. We probably knew, do need a new starting pitcher. So let's see if we can at least find someone with a multi-year deal who can help us going forward. All right, we're getting rid of uh, Chaffin, 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 whatever his name is. We're bringing in Brandon Finnegan of the Reds and Wandy Peralta. Having a decent year. He's 75 years, or 75 years old. Wow. He's 25 years old. 75 overall. Um, he's going down in rating. He and he's just not performing i'd rather have someone who's actually going to have potential and go up we're also and then another b potential starting pitcher since we have traded a couple um we're getting rid of two um a b potential but he's 25 and only 55 overall so i don't see him growing that much more and then eduardo diaz a player i don't see growing too much more either but i think we're adding two players with potential and i think that's what we kind of need we need to start getting more trade pieces so that if we do need to make a big trade in the future we have those options available where we could definitely you know find a bigger name player to add to the squad all right we're going to be adding another youngster a 24 year old b potential 71 overall pitcher um for andres godley two players i don't really want to use in the future and then jake deekman um another player that probably would have walked anyways so currently this is what our bullpen's looking like it's going to look a little weak we do need a new pitcher so that's do I I guess I bring up Sanga and hope he doesn't like decrease in potential because of that so everybody should move up one we bring in Sanga and this is how we're looking but now we definitely have a lot more prospects to work with the the bullpen's looking a little rough that <laughs> definitely looks a little rough we'll just bring him up just for the extra arm um, bullpen still looking a little rough lineup we have Odor and Ramos but like I said I wanted to clear out some players I definitely didn't want to use anymore and this allows us to you to add some players that are have multi-year deals so we don't have to look for um, any more players for the future and um, or at least for those positions so basically now second center field um, catchers locked up because Springer has a multi-year deal and then we can fill in the pieces as we go. So I think this helps us out a little bit. I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. I know we won't make the playoffs, but you know what? It at least kind of sets us up to build season two and season three. So let's see how the end of the season goes. So as you can see, we still finished two games under 500. We went 80 and 82. Um, let's see how the rest of the season, like the league went. We finished 19 games out. And as you can see um, in the wild card, we finished seven out, which I mean, could be a lot worse but here's the rest of the standings for you guys you guys can see how everything went um there's the playoff picture as well let's see how everything finished for the year so corbin 17 and 11 but like i said i wasn't expecting to have a lot of decent records but a 2.7 era is very nice to see robbie ray a 3.5 era not not horrible 3.5 era not horrible but again for players you know low 80s a 3.5 era for like a three four starters is decent is decent shelby miller had a pretty bad record and a pretty high era and actually sanga holy cow eight and oh with a sub two era we may have found a nice little pickup there randall delgado a little bit rough sec a little a little bit worse second half um because i'm pretty sure he had a sub three era first half boxberger not too bad but i probably won't bring him back because he's I probably I probably won't bring him back. I'll probably find somebody else to bring in instead. Wandy Peralta's gone down a little bit in rating. Rondon's gone down gone down. So I might have to trade him next season. Allen, pretty solid. And then Hirano for 10 innings. Not a bad, not a bad um ERA. And then 36 saves for Archie Bradley. 11 blown saves. Yikes. So Springer's up to an 84. He hit 260 on the year. Josh Bell hit 229. That's that's not good. Hmm. And Duhar is down to a 79. What? What is going on? I know team performance is going to hurt a lot of players, but you can see David Peralta did pretty solid. Odor. Like, I feel like we could have a little bit hit, better hitting. 291 for Ramos isn't bad. Jake Lyme, 247. Ahmed. And then there's the bench. So season one was definitely a season where I wanted to add some players. And see how it went but 
feel like it was either they went really well or it went really bad. So let's see some of these prospects. Um, we traded for him at draft or at deadline day. He's gone up one. Duplantier's up to a 71. And you can see the rest of the pitchers there. Um, no one there. Var shows up to a 67, which is pretty solid. Um, second base, we have Vargas, who's a 64. Um, Bohm's gone up one. We have Ellis here, who's a 66. 66, 65. And that guy we signed is up to a 62. Um, nobody there. 64 and 63 there. And a 67 there. So hopefully some of these players in the offseason will go up a little bit more in rating. But that's the first season. Um, I definitely figured it would be a tough season. You know, we finished under 500. So let's hop into season two and see how it goes. After we see who won the World Series. Which the Indians defeated the Nationals. So, alright, let's go into it. Alright, so I offered these three contracts. Hopefully they accept it so let's send to free agency see how it goes all right so these six got arbitration along with uh boxberger and miller contracts everybody's gonna get a contract since we don't really have too many crazy ones so um next time you see me we'll be making more roster moves so you can see cody allen went to the cubs instead so we are in need of a new reliever for sure um we are definitely needing some relief help this year. Alrighty, trade number one of the second season, Danny Salazar is going to be joining us here for Augustine Fernandez, Shelby Miller, and then um, Brandon Finnegan. We need a new starter, and I think this is definitely one that will help us out. Um, he's 29, he's got beat potential, I think it's just, this is a good move for us. Alright, we're getting rid of Hirano, Shipley, and Alec Thomas. Um, he's got C potential, he's 59 overall. For Sam Tui Valala. Um, 78 overall he's got at least this year and next year on his contract so hopefully um, you know we can keep him for a couple more years and that helps us out in the bullpen a little bit currently this is what we're looking like um, we're still a little weak in the bullpen area I would like to add at least another arm um, pitching wise I think we're looking a lot better I mean everyone's starting to increase in rating and then this is how our lineup currently stands um overall it's it's definitely pretty solid i'm liking what i'm seeing um and i think you know we definitely could do a little bit better here and we kind of do need a new shortstop because we have vargas playing shortstop and i don't i don't think he's the solution there um so we'll have to we'll have to see how it goes anduhar is in a bit of a tricky situation because we do have jake lamb and jake lamb definitely has that power which you know i, I kind of feel like we need it so maybe maybe put jake lamb at first and then anduhar there i think that might have to be the move and then josh bell is gonna sit out i don't know we're, we're gonna have to sort it out because i definitely think we need the power and stuff but this is it's looking a little bit better first base right field and shortstop are definitely our weak spots but it's it's slowly coming together definitely slowly coming together um looking at some of our prospects you guys can see there's some players who have definitely increased in rating we're looking a little weak on the relief pitching for sure um we're, we're gonna have to like find some way to trade for that um i did have to add some players just to make sure that we had enough for the um minor league farm system but you can see reggie mcgregor that player we drafted looks really good he's a top 50 prospect um, we brought in Emilio Mesa um, from the free agency pool um, just to add another player because we needed players for AAA and stuff. Victor Victor Mesa is another player I brought in and um, some pitchers as well, um, some starting pitchers. But other than that, you guys can see the team here. It's, it's looking good. We have a lot of good um, pitching prospects. I like the looks of that. So I'm kind of hoping that we may have, to, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that they develop and we could trade one um just because i think we're gonna have a surplus you know we have john bruno who who i'm pretty sure we drafted um so we definitely have some good players we have eddie earnhardt who we drafted who's um definitely should help us out as well so i'm feeling pretty good with the team um as is i'm gonna see how it goes for the first half of the season i'll see you guys at draft uh not draft day deadline day and the deadline day we are pretty far behind in the west you guys can see 22 games out we're six games above 500 um and then we're five games out in the wild card though so it's it's pretty close um for that 
Um, let's see how the CPU did in the draft. Pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad. Um, let's see if... Yeah, pretty pretty bad. Definitely, definitely really bad. Um, let's see how the team's doing as a whole. Corbin, not not horrible. Salazar is not as good as I would have hoped. Ray's, eh. Sanga's actually doing pretty solid. And then Taiwan Walker's doing pretty good as well. So it's looking like Ray's kind of the odd one out that could be traded. Delgado's a little bit rough. Boxberger's going up still. Um, he's having a solid year. Tui Valala's getting hit a little hard. Peralta's getting hit a little hard. Rondon is for sure. And Archie Bradley is as well. So it's looking like our bullpen's hurting us. Um, looking at the lineup, you guys can see how everyone is doing. Um, everyone's hitting decent. Springer's kind of the... Maybe he's not the leadoff hitter that we need. Who could be, though? Odor, maybe? And then put... And then maybe like that. Um, and you guys can see the bench there. Earnhardt's up to a 74. I like to see that. How is Bell doing? 76? I might just use Earnhardt at first and then trade Bell. Let's see if anybody from our farm system is developing fast. Duplantier a little bit. Pannon a little bit. Um, we, we definitely need to find some um, bullpen help. Bohm's up to a 70. That's good to see. Victor Victor Mesa is a 71. Okay, okay. Um, so let's see if we can strengthen up this bullpen because that's kind of looking like it's where we're falling apart. All right, we're going for two Marlins players in Harlan Garcia and Nick Wetgren. Wittgren, um, Penalver and Robbie Ray are being dealt. Um, we just, like I said, we needed a new, le uh, new pitcher. Harlan Garcia is basically a lefty, almost the same rating as Robbie Ray. And then Wittgren helps us out in that bullpen a little bit. So... Um, I think, I mean, the, the, it looks a little bit stronger, but you know, I, I, anything can happen at this point. Who, who knows what's going to happen? Um, I'm kind of thinking Earnhardt needs to take over. Maybe if we move Bell up a little bit higher in the lineup, get him some more at bats. That's what we need to do. But again, the team's developing quite nicely. A shortstop would, would be a huge help. I definitely think it would help us out a lot. Um, but we're gonna have to see how it goes. So let's see, let's see how this this continues to go. And uh I'll catch you guys in the off season or at the end of the season. As you can see, 86 and 76 just wasn't good enough for the postseason, but 10 games over 500, I, I like to see that. You guys can see we were in second in the division. 25 games out and one game separated us from the wild card spot so we are definitely improving league leaders jake lamb jake lamb definitely hit the ball pretty hard it seems he got the hank aaron award so let's see how the pitching did 15 and 10 with the 328 era so his era has gone up a little bit but you know what i mean wins and losses are going to be tough to come by especially with you know we're not too amazing just yet salazar not what i was expecting um garcia not what i was expecting sanga a 3-2-1 era um not not horrible and then taiwan walker is looking like he's you know starting to pitch pretty well 267 era delgado is looking like he's starting to go down which isn't good to see boxberger a three era is solid to see rondon he's going back up peralta's going up even though he had a pretty bad era Whitgren, solid. Tui Valala, okay. And Archie Bradley's up to a 91. 46 saves and only seven blown saves this year. So pitching, again, still looking like bullpen is where we're going to need to strengthen a little bit. Odor, 244, but 21 homers. Not a horrible season. Jake Lamb's looking like he's definitely becoming a big piece in our offense. So we're, we're going to have to find a way to include him. Springer, his potential's going down, but he's still an 88. Peralta looks like he's hitting the ball solid. Um, Josh Bell, maybe maybe just getting him more at bats was what he needed to start increasing. Andujar is going up in rating as well. Um, Souza's an 80. I'm thinking he might be the player that moves out. Um, and then we make Peralta right field, Springer center, Lamb uh, left, and then Andujar third. We got Ramos here. 
and then Vargas. So not not horrible, not horrible. Let's see. Earnhardt's up to a 75, so he might be pushing high 70s um, next season. So let's look at some of these prospects. Pannon and Duplantier are kind of pushing the high seven or mid 70s. We got a couple other players down here as well. Again, we're gonna have to definitely focus on um, bullpen this off season. Bar shows up to a 70, so maybe Murphy is a player that we could look to deal. Um, let's see here. Bohm's up to a 71, so third baseman we're looking pretty stacked, especially with McGregor there. Um, Chisholm 69, Jackson 66. Victor Victor Mesa 72, McCarthy 67, and Brito is a 75. So we definitely have a lot of good prospects looking um, going forward. So let's see who wins this World Series. And we can hop into Season 3. You can see the Dodgers defeated the Red Sox. So the opposite of what happened in real life this year. So uh, we definitely improved. You know, 20 wins more than what we had last season. Maybe even 26 more. So let's see if we can push for a playoff in season three so everybody here has arbitration contracts wise everyone's gonna get one because they're mostly prospect contracts found this b potential shortstop might as well pick them up um could be a trade piece at deadline day all right we do need a leadoff hitter and i think we found it um the josh bell experiment it's it's been going okay but earnhardt's just as good and probably a little bit better of a hitter um as and we, we've got an overload of third baseman so we're going to go with Alec Bohm as well for Trey Turner. It gives us a leadoff hitter. We do, we do need one. And it actually gives us a shortstop since we've been lacking that. Now the big thing is trying to bulk up this bullpen. We definitely need to do that. So let's see if we can figure it out and um, go from there. Alrighty, Thomas Pannone, Wandy Peralta, who just hasn't worked out, as well as Roger Bullock, Chris Davinsky, we're going to the Astros again. Um, that kind of gives us that setup man. Um, even though Whit Green looks actually like he'd be really good in that spot. But I feel like this is, it's definitely strengthened it a little bit. And um, our lineup's looking a lot better. Um, we can definitely put Trey Turner as our leadoff now. Ooh, this kind of makes things a little a little backed up there but um it's this works out really well now because we have our leadoff hitter we have a shortstop we have um just it we just look a lot better that's basically what it's coming down to and i feel like we uh we're put we're, we're in a better spot now like we're we're a lot stronger and I'm liking what I'm seeing. At the deadline day, you can see we're 14 games out, but in the wild card, we do hold the top spot, which is good to see. Um, draft picks wise, a decent one, Joaquin Williamson. Um, so CPU did decent there as well as Rod Pond and Steven Santiago. So a couple a couple decent picks for the future, even though it probably won't help us. Um, couple prospects are doing decently randall delgado went down to the minors i don't like that why why did that happen anybody else that went down that shouldn't have i'm gonna sign a reliever just so that that doesn't happen again um yeah sure we'll, we'll sign we'll sign two just to make sure some some crazy stuff doesn't happen again Alrighty, so let's see how everyone's doing so far. Trey Turner hitting 264. Peralta is starting to decrease a little bit, but he's hitting the ball well. George Springer, yikes. Um, Jake Lamb, though, hitting the ball pretty well. Um, Odor, okay, okay. Andujar's going up. Ramos is an 89. Souza, and then Earnhardt is an 82. Okay, okay. And then you got Britos. Vargas is, who 45? holy cow but uh you can but overall decent decent pitching wise seven and three for corbin okay okay i can get behind that 359 era not not terrible sanga sanga's a monster holy cow taiwan walker's at a three and garcia's at a five oof um delgado hasn't has only pitched two innings um, Rondon, I think Rondon needs to go. Rondon definitely has to go. Boxberger's starting to decrease as well. Tui Valala, not going well. Whitgren, 
excuse me, Whitgren's doing well. Devensky is okay, so I might swap those two. And then Archie Bradley's continuing to go up. Even though, oof, that ERA. Let's try that. Let's try that. So we, we need to strengthen the bullpen a little bit more. Like Rondon needs to go. Maybe Boxberger too. Um, but the lineups, looks like it's producing. It's looking like it's producing. Um, so I think we're going to stick with that for sure. Is there anybody in the farm system that could be brought up to help us he's not he's definitely not ready um doesn't look like it doesn't look like it all right all right we're going for tim collins um i guess he was of the nationals um 84 overall b potential is having a really good year emilio mesa who's actually going down in rating so i'm okay with getting rid of him and rondon is part of this deal so I think this is going to help us out. Hopefully it does. Um, basically, an 84 for 84, Rondon for a Collins. Let's see if we can get rid of Boxberger while he still has a little bit of value. Maybe add one of these um, pitching prospects that probably won't make you know make a, an appearance for us um, and try to find another reliever. We're going after Matt Bowman, Jeremiah Jackson, Boxberger, and Alec Mills are all part of this trade. We're, we're, we're really trying to strengthen up this bullpen. So hopefully all these moves will do it. Um, but this is kind of how we're looking right now. Um, like with that, I feel like we should be a playoff team. Definitely making the, the wild card at least. Like this is a team that should make the wild card. Like I, fe I feel like we should. Um, maybe trade Harlan Garcia just because he's not really doing too amazing. So maybe pair him up with one of these extra prospects that we have just to see if we can get um, a little bit more, just someone we can actually rely on in um, the starting rotation. Alrighty, after that trade of Bowman, this is how we're looking. We're gonna leave Harlan Garcia there. And then we also added Tim Collins and then the lineup's gonna stay the same. It looks like it's producing runs. So let's see if we can make that wild card spot. As you can see, we were 93 and 69. Our best season and um we made the postseason as a wild card team we're taking on the rockies so um let's see um sanga had the best era so he definitely looks like he was a good pickup for us and then earnhardt won rookie of the year and sanga won a gold glove let's look at the squad 13 and 4 for patrick corbin 2-9 era it looks like i mean his second season was his worst but first and third definitely solid um Salazar, not a bad pickup. I'm um, a 3.943 ERA is kind of rough. Oh, for a 3-4 starter, I guess it could be pretty okay, but you know, it's it I wish it could have been better. Sanga though, just what a pickup from free agency. What a pickup. Taiwan Walker, he definitely has been improving through the years, and Harlan Garcia just hasn't really panned out to what I hoped it would have been. Randall Delgado in his 23 innings did pretty solid. Bowman decent there Tui Valala he's brought his ERA down a little bit Collins is under a three ERA two um Whitgren is at a two Archie Bradley hey man his ERA has just been high and then Davinsky yeah his ERA is just just hasn't dipped under a three yet Trey Turner looked like he's raised his stats up a little bit or average at least to a 280 Peralta's hitting 320 on the year 29 homers 81 ribbies Springer decent you know it's pretty pretty similar production numbers but average has gone down jake lamb there we go that's what i want to see 37 homers 87 ribbies not as good average but definitely you know very good for us um odor similar to last year but better average anduhar similar to last year ramos you know better production in terms of home runs so it's looking like, holy cow, Earnhardt's an 85. He hit 32 homers and 88 ribbies. I think he needs to move up in the lineup. Holy smokes. He like absolutely crushes the ball right now. Um, yeah. Holy cow. And then Brito hit 318, which is good to see. Vargas and Murphy. 
Two plant tier is almost an 80, which is good to see. Outside of that, though, we're looking a little step. Jared Miller, okay, okay. Bruno's up to almost a 70. You got Varsho here. Kron, um, Vargas, Vinicio, McGregor, who we drafted in the first season, he's a 72. Molina and Chisholm right there. They look like decent prospects. Mesa's finally up to a 74. And then Brito, like we've talked about. So the team's looking good. Um, you can see these standings here. We were the first place wildcard team. And here's everything else. Playoff picture. Come on. We just, let's at least make it past the wild card. Um, so quick manage that. I feel like this team should do it. You know, the team definitely should do it. I kind of want Senga to pitch. He's just been so good. Who would you guys go with here in this situation? Corbin or Senga? I feel like Senga's just been so good, but we got we got to go with the ace. Um we're going against the lefty. Um so I kind of want I want Springer here. And maybe put him four, Earnhardt five. We'll try that. We'll try that. Um, oh, man, this is this gonna be a good game. I'm feeling good. We just gotta get we gotta get some hits. Trevor Store. Ooh, that's not good. Double play though. There we go. There we go. Can we get a base runner? We do. And then nothing happens out of it. Okay, one, two, three inning for our pitcher Corbin Odor. Corbin. Corbin singles, okay. Trey Turner singles. Mm, we can't take advantage of it. There we go. We'll get out of that inning too. Nothing there. So bats really aren't for either team. They're really not going. Okay, let's bunt them over. Two outs though, but Turner. Turner couldn't get a little base knock. A double, but we get out of that inning. Springer flies out. Peralta. Ramos. Come on, guys. Earnhardt. Souza and Duhar. So this is probably Corbin's last inning. <sighs> so we got lefty, lefty, lefty. Let's bring in Collins. Just one batter too much. It's looking like that might be the big mistake here. We're facing a lefty. I don't think any. I don't even have Lamb in. I should have had. Well, we were facing a lefty though. Ooh, we get a single. Do we have anybody with speed on the bases? 70 speed on first isn't bad. So you know what? Turner, please, a hit. A pop out. Springer, and he grounds out. Come on. All right, we're facing a string of righties. Let's bring in Archie Bradley. There we go. So it all comes down to this. Man. A single, that's good. Pitching change, we're facing the righty now. So Ramos flies out. Earnhardt walks it off. There we go, Earnhardt, first year draft pick. And we're taking on the Dodgers. He walks it off. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's, let's, let's hop into these Dodger games. First game we win, second game we win. Third game we lose. Fourth game we lose. Ooh. Ooh, man. Alrighty, let's do it. We are in LA for this one. Kershaw Corbin. So we're facing another lefty. Um Jake Lamb just doesn't have the power versus lefties. Let's try it out. Let's see how it goes. We get a walk there and then a ground out. So no, oh, they got Acuna. It's like what I did. Okay. Yikes. Fielder's choice. A single and a double play. So only one run. That's good. Oh, a double. There we go. A ground out. A ground out. And a strike. Can't take advantage of that leadoff double. Then no. Two nothing. Oh, come on, guys. All right, come on, Souza. There we go. Ramos, Fielder's Choice, Odor, 
double play. Come on, guys. We let Kershaw score. All right, we're we need the runs. We need the runs. Single. There we go. Pop out. Two run bomb. Andujar. There we go. Gets us back in the game. And then we get a double. Can we tie it here? He doesn't, but that's okay. Let's bring in. Hmm. We're going to string of righties. Let's bring in. <sighs> Bowman. Fly out. Double. Thrown out at home. An error? You got to be kidding me. Gets the out. There we go. Gets out of the jam. Okay. Come on. Get a hit. There we go. All right, pinch hit. I think they're gonna bring in. <sighs> Pitcher, yeah. <sighs> Pop out, ground out, strike out. All right, eighth inning, Bradley time. Michael Taylor, of all people, Michael Taylor. Earnhardt, can you do it again? He done. Michael Taylor. You've got to be kidding me. Of all people, Michael Taylor does it. <sighs> that's that's heartbreaking, but I think they were the best team in baseball this year. Yeah. The Dodgers always are a good team. But to be honest, hey, I'm I'm liking what I saw. That this team, Trey Turner, eh. Eh. But, you know, um, Earnhardt is a gem in the like a superstar in the making. 85 overall. He's 19. And I mean he hit 284 this year, 32 homers, 88 home uh, RBIs. Springer never really I mean 30 home runs though. I mean that's not bad. And I mean, like we got Turner now who's you know 26. He's a shortstop for the foreseeable future. Peralta, he's actually been hitting the ball even though he's aging. Springer just hit 30. Jake Lamb's not even 30 yet. Odor's in his mid-20s. Earnhardt's 19. Ramos, 32, but catchers usually go into about their mid-30s. Souza, eh. Andujar is definitely a prospect to look forward to. Pitching-wise, we have Corbin, who just hit 30. Salazar, who just hit 30. Sanga, who's not even 30. Taiwan Walker is 27 as well. Garcia is 27. We got Delgado who just hit 30. Bowman's not even 30. Tuivalala not 30. Collins not 30. Whitgren under 30. Bradley under 30. Devensky under 30. So bullpen looks set for the future. Pitching rotation set for the future. We have good prospects here in Duplantier. Widener, um, Chas Chasson, um, Taber, as well as Parsons. So we look good there. The bullpen looks a little shaky. You know, we only got one at B prospect there, but we do have Bruno who looks good. We have Varsho who is a good looking backup for the future. And we have Kron who probably won't develop into too, too much. Um, Vargas is still developing, um, but he is 28. So he probably won't get too much better. We have McGregor who's 22 years old, 72 overall. Um, we have Molina here. We have Chisholm right here. Um, Victor Victor Mesa in center and then that's that's it so we're looking good for the future we're looking good for now this team did better than I thought I didn't think we were going to make it out of the, the wild card and then we almost you know we almost took the Dodgers out we almost took them out you know so we almost took out the Dodgers we would have been playing the Phillies I think we would have done well against the Phillies, but unfortunately, we just couldn't beat the Dodgers. Let's see who wins the World Series. It is going to be the Angels defeating the Phillies, so maybe the Phillies are a little bit better than I thought. But I hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild of the Diamondbacks. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you were new and enjoyed the content, and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.